Hello, my amazing first grade artists. Welcome to our sixth week of virtual art. Oh my gosh, it's already our sixth week. I have to use two hands to hold it up. Oh my goodness. And this is a great week, my friends, because we are finishing up a new project that we started last art class. So think in your head right now if you can remember what that art project was. And if you can't remember, that's okay, because I have it right here, ready for us to take a second look at my artist. So I have two examples right here of what we are finishing up today, my friends. These are my giant vine leaves. So last week, we focused mainly on our different types of lines. We looked at this menu of different lines to choose from, and you friends did a fantastic job of drawing in many different lines. Now today we have a few more steps to help finish up our art project and you have some options about how your project might look when it's all finished, okay? But first, before we even get out our art materials, let's read our learning targets one more time together. Here I go. I can draw many different lines. So again, you had many different lines to pick from, my friends, and you filled in your whole leaf using your pencil with those lines. Remember, that was your goal for last week. So if you have drawn all of your different lines and filled up your whole leaf, you can go ahead and give yourself a check. You've done that learning target. We are ready for the next one. So let's read our second one together. Here I go again. I can use warm colors. So we're gonna be using some warm colors today. Some of my friends might already know what that means by warm colors, but some of my friends might not yet know. So I'm gonna hold up my leaves one last time, my artist, and let's take a look at some of the colors we see on my leaves. For example, I see yellow and I see some oranges. I even see some pink and ooh, I see some kind of light red also there, my friends. Those are our warm colors, specifically red, orange and yellow. And I always think about things that are hot when I think about these colors. For example, I think about fire. I think about the desert. I even think about the sun. Those are all things that are warm and they are made with using red, orange, and yellow as their three main colors. So today we are all going to use our warm colors when we are coloring in our leaves. And then my artist, like I said, you might have some choices about how you finish up your project as well, but I'm not going to tell you yet. First, we need to go take a look at what art supplies we might need or what we could use to finish up our line leaves too. Let's go take a look. So my first grade friends, today is all about options. Now you have to have your yellow art folder, which hopefully has your leaf safely tucked away with all your pencil lines. And you have to have either a Sharpie or a black marker but then you have some choices today about what you use to color your leaf in. Again, we're going to use those warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, but you can choose to either use crayons, markers, or if you have it, you can even use watercolor paints, my friends. Not regular paints, it has to be watercolor, otherwise you'll just cover over all your lines. Now, one quick word of warning, my artist, okay? If you do have watercolor paints and you would like to paint your watercolor or your leaf with your watercolor paints, you will have to use a black Sharpie. If you use a regular marker, my artist, with paints, that marker will run and it'll make all of our beautiful warm colors look kind of icky and dirty. So if you do want to paint your leaf, you need to have a Sharpie for our first step, okay? And as always, my artist, I know some of our adults in our lives and some of our parents might feel like we can't use a Sharpie, but I would like you to really ask your adult in your life, if that is the case, if you could please safely use your Sharpie for this project today, okay? So if you have an adult nearby that you can ask to use a Sharpie if you need to ask them, please go ahead and do that and go grab the art supplies that you are gonna use today, my artists, so we can get started. All right, my artists, I hope that you have gotten the art supplies that you plan on using to finish up your art project today. I'm ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my yellow art folder again. And the only thing that I need today to take out of my folder is that lion handout. Please leave everything else inside your art folder for our next art project. I'll even put my paper clip, my whole folder off to the side so it's nice and safe in a way. All right, so. First thing first, my friends, before I can even think about using my colors or using my paints in my case, I need to take a look one last time at my lines. And I notice, oh yeah, my lines right now are in pencil. 
and they were really hard for me to do. I worked very hard filling in all those different areas of my leaf. If I were to just start painting on top of my pencil lines, they might disappear and get completely covered up. Hmm. I wonder if there's something I could do to make my lines darker that would make them last when I color over them. Hmm, what could it be, my friends? Oh, right, I have my Sharpie here. Or maybe you have your black marker, my friends. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to go right over top of all of those amazing different lines that I drew in my leaf. You friends, I want you to do the same thing again, either using your Sharpie or a black marker. I want you to carefully take your time and go over all of your different lines. Now, if you need to pause the video to do that, otherwise, if you have it done, you can keep going. I'm gonna speed this up for you, friends, and I'm gonna have all my lines nice and sharpied in so you can see how it should look before you start adding your colors, okay? Here I go. I'm sure that that looked super fast the way that I was sharpening it, but I promise I took my time and I slowed down and I tried my best to keep my Sharpie marker on my lines. It only looks fast because I sped it up in the video, okay? So now that I have all of my lines traced and I've double checked, I've looked around, I only have a few oopses that I might have missed that maybe I need to erase real quickly. But now that I'm done with my Sharpie, I can go ahead and put it safely away. Again, if you have some lines that you see that you might want to erase, there were just some extras, you can, but you need to have all of the pencil lines that you want to keep sharpened, my friends, before we start adding our colors. And as a matter of fact, that is our next step, my artist. So if you need to pause the video here and catch up, please feel free to do so to where I have all my lines sharpened so that way we can start adding our nice warm colors. Again, I decided to pick watercolors to paint my leaf in. But if you have something else that you would like to use, my friends, like markers or crayons, even colored pencils, you can. But now we have some choices, my artists, okay? So listen to what you must do and listen to what you can do, okay? You must color in your whole leaf using your three warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. Now, if you wanna be done after that, you can, and you can leave your background white, or you can even wait for once your paint is dry and cut out your leaf like I did. That's one of your choices. Or your second choice is this, my artist. Once you're done using your warm colors inside of your leaf, if you would like to use your other colors, your cool colors, blue, green, and purple, on the outside around your leaf, that is a choice you can make as well. For today, I'm just going to show you what you must do. Again, you must paint your whole leaf using your warm colors or color it with your warm colors. But after that, you can choose what you do around your leaf, whether you cut it out or use your other colors to color around your leaf. So I'm going to get started again. Like I said, I'm going to use some of my water, dip into my watercolor paints with my paintbrush, and I'll start painting. Now, you can do one color in each section. For example, maybe this whole section, I'll use my red and I'll paint it in really nicely, being careful around my edges. Or you can just paint your whole leaf using stripes or different lines. However, you wanna fill your leaf in, my artist, with your three warm colors. Again, those three warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. So I'm going to go ahead on my leaf, my friends, and I'm going to keep going around. I'm going to paint up my three warm colors, and then we're going to take one last look on how it could look if you follow the directions before we talk about turning it in on Seesaw. So once again, I'm going to speed this part up. If you need to pause here or keep going, whatever you need to do, you can, my friends. Here I go. Well now my first grade friends, I have my line leaf all nice and painted in because remember I chose to use watercolor paints and my warm colors. And this is one way yours might look if you follow our directions of using warm colors and filling in your whole leaf. Again, you don't have to paint the different parts different colors. You could do stripes of different colors. You could do blots of different colors. You could even mix the colors around a little bit. As long as I can see one area that has yellow 
one area that has orange and one area that has red, I will know then that you use the three warm colors. So, like I said, you have some options now, my artists. This is technically finished. It just needs some time to dry. So, I could go and turn it in, in Seesaw just like this, or if I want to use more colors, I can use my other colors like green, blue, purple, the cool colors, or black and brown, some neutral colors around my leaf. That's one option. Or my second option, I can let my leaf completely dry and I could cut it out so it's only that leaf shape. And that's another option as well, my friends, but you don't have to do those steps. If you are happy with how your leaf looks now, it's all filled in with all of your different lines and you used your three warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, then you can turn it in on either Seesaw or on Artsonia, okay? So remember, you'll take a picture of it. And this week, my artists, I'm really looking for friends who take their pictures by leaving their artwork flat on a table, or you can even set it flat on the floor and then try to take your picture from straight above. I'm thinking that these artworks are starting to look really fabulous, and I'd really like to see a very nice photo of your work, okay? So no more having hands on top covering things, no more seeing even your faces in the background or lots of other things going on. I want to see a nice big picture of just your artwork this week. Let's see how many of my amazing artists can take a beautiful photo of their amazing work. So for now, my artists, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And as always, have fun creating, my friends.